people have been coming to Scotland because of stories for centuries, whether that's Braveheart and Outlander or Walter Scott and Shakespeare. Today, Diggit TV is at a castle which is relatively unknown, but whose name has been spoken on stages across the world, Macduff's Castle. In Shakespeare's Macbeth, Macduff, the Thane of Fife, kills Macbeth in battle in a tale of prophecy and vengeance. It's one of the most iconic rivalries in storytelling history, but unfortunately, it's about as historically accurate as Braveheart. When the real Macduff was around in the mid-11th century, castles weren't actually a thing in Scotland yet. The earliest part of the castle that we see today comes from the 14th century, and it was built by the Weems family, descendants of the Macduffs. The Thane of Fife did have an earlier fortification somewhere around here, but we don't know the exact spot. Macduff's castle is built of locally quarried red sandstone, which is a very popular building material for castles all across Scotland. It was used in quite well-known ones, including Tintallon Castle and Bothwell Castle. Now, red sandstone is quite vulnerable to the elements, so just like at Seafield Tower, not far up the coast from here, you can see the marks of centuries of exposure at Macduff's. As the Thanes of Fife, the Macduffs held a certain preeminence among Scottish noble families. To give you an idea of how respected they were, they held the ancient privilege of actually placing the crown on a newly crowned king or queen of Scots' head. Now, this was taken very seriously, especially by Robert Bruce in 1306, who was struggling to build his reputation at the time. He wanted to make sure he got it right, so when Isabella Macduff was delayed by a day getting to Schoon for the ceremony, he had it all done over again and did it right. The ruins that we see now are actually only one part of a much larger castle complex. When the Colvilles acquired the property in the 1530s, they built a second tower and a barmkin wall surrounding the entire area. When you add it all up, this would have made Macduff's castle one of the strongest castles in Fife. A lot of people think that being an historian or an archaeologist, you basically get to play at being Indiana Jones, and while that's usually not true, the six caves along the coast just under Macduff's castle, known collectively as the Weems Caves, are definitely the type of place that make you feel like you're on an adventure. Don't think of these as caves. Think of these as art galleries carved in stone. Thanks for joining Diggit TV at Macduff's Castle and the Weems Caves. It's just on the coast between Kirkcaldy and Leven, so if you do find yourself in the area, I really hope you get the chance to stop on by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and if you have visited the castle or the caves, or better yet, both, drop us a picture at hashtag DiggitTV so we can check it out. Thanks.